when you just sit down and think about what happened on Saturday, what what got out of hand? What went wrong for the defense? Uh, you know, I kind of feel like we weren't being ourselves. We were missing some tackles. We blew some assignments. But, you know, last week's behind us now. We just got to keep pushing forward, fight through adversity, and, you know, get ready for Baylor. Where is the sense of urgency with this team going into this Baylor game? Uh, we know that we can't perform like we did last week, so we're we're itching to get back out there and prove that that's not the type of team that we are. Seems like lately, um, when you guys fall behind in the first quarter, that's hurt you a little bit. Uh, how helpful is it when you guys build an early lead as a defense and you can build off that the rest of the game? It's extremely helpful because it builds momentum, and you know it makes things easier for the offense. You know, but it also makes things easier for us knowing that we have a lead and that but you know what I'm saying we just got to get back to being disciplined and you know making the plays that come to us and do you have an early scouting report for Baylor yet can you tell us what uh, kind of catches your eye with them on offense uh yeah we got an early scouting report but uh you know Baylor they just have an experienced quarterback and they got some speed at receiver really and we're up to the task for that for real all right thanks Keandre good luck this week thank you Hey, Keandre, um, what was the mood in the locker room, not after the game, but when you guys gathered and, and kind of revisited what happened at Ames? You talking about at halftime or after? No, like game? after, like uh, Sunday, uh, Monday. I mean, we knew that that wasn't us, and, you know, that was a pretty embarrassing loss, but that's just something that we, we know that we have to put that behind us. Like, what happened happened. And we have to keep pushing forward through next week and just, you know, playing football, you'll reach the highest of highs and lowest of lows, and we'll just have to get through it. Because we've proven that we can beat anybody, but we also proven that we can lose anybody, so we just have to remain focused. Is Going into a game like this with Baylor, you've got a lot at stake. I mean, you, you still are 4-3 and three in the conference. Um, how motivated do you feel like this team is? We're pretty motivated because we know that we can play way better than what we did last week. You know what I'm saying? Like, what we put on film wasn't really good, but we're motivated to change that. You know, we're we're really ready to get back out there. Extremely ready. Thank you. Marty? Yeah, the guys on offense said that they met together as a, as a whole team and watched, watched the game as a whole unit. But did you guys do that on defense too, or? Yeah, we do that uh, every week. You know what I'm saying? We'll go over what we did wrong and what we did good, and just learn from the learn from the experience. So you do that as a, a whole defensive unit, not just position groups. I mean, we'll break off into position groups and watch it, but as a unit, we'll watch a couple plays together. Uh -huh. How helpful is that? It's extremely helpful because you know what I'm saying. Uh, from you can learn from what you did wrong, or, you know what you did good, and just keep building on that week to week. Thanks. All right. Keandre, hey, how would you um, describe how this season has been for you individually through the, the eight games so far? Uh, through the eight games, me, uh, you know, at the beginning of the season, I missed some time, you know, related, related to COVID or whatnot. But then, you know, I came back and worked my way back into playing. And, you know, uh, I don't know. I think that this year has just been extremely up and down. But, you know, I, I feel like I still got a lot of meat left on the bone that I can, you know what I'm saying, build upon these last two games. Yeah, and I, I was going to ask about that because, you know, I, th I think just what does it say about your persistence? Because I don't think many guys – do what you do as a graduate transfer and come in and not expect to start. Now you're coming off back-to-back -back starts. You know, uh, we was dealing with some injuries, and, you know, in that case, it's just got to be next man up. And whenever you come in, you just got to be able to either keep the level, level of play the same or improve it, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I know, I know that, you know, my job is to be go out there and, like, just do it. You know what I'm saying? 
Thank you, Andre. Thanks. Don't don't leave a lot of meat on the bone with the turkey, at least. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I won't. <laughs> All right, last one here, Adam. Andre, defensively, what difference did you notice without having Justin Hughes and Elijah Sullivan playing in the game? Uh, you know, defensively, those two are kind of like our energizer bunny. So, you know, they're talking a lot pregame, during the game, postgame. And it's you kind of feel that whenever that presence isn't there. But, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's not an excuse or anything. But, you know, you would love to have those guys out there. <laughs>